A wise man once said, to forget how to dig the soil and the earth is to forget ourselves. Well, maybe some have, but a few of us still know. You gotta be willing to put in the time, make the sacrifices, and the hard choices. The job's got its perks, don't get me wrong. The sweet smell of the morning dew, the way the warm sun and the cool breeze can dance across your skin. But don't think it's a game. The farm's got a way of sorting the wheat from the chaff. Just remember to keep your wits about you. You fall, you get back up again. Because this is more than just a job. It's a calling. Who else would choose to wake up early in the morning, tear up their hands working in the fields all day, and then spend the evening planning how they're going to do it all over again, better tomorrow? Day after day. Season after season. Year after year. That's a calling that's never ending. It stretches far forward and back from us as long as farmers have been tending this earth. And farmers will be around as long as such a thing exists. Tomorrow is secured by those willing to dirty their hands today. So when you feel alone out there in the field, just remember, you're not. Think about all those that have come before you. And all those that'll follow. Plant today. Harvest tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back to a new uh, season, new round. It's a Simon, Army Simulator 22, and we are just be getting back into it since uh, Army Simulator 19, three years old. Still actually liking that myself. Uh, this one's still got to work out a little bit of bugs, especially on the AIs, because I cannot get this, get them to seem to go to the locations I've asked them to. Some of them will, some of them won't. Yeah, we add to some more work, some don't. That's, that's how I'm kind of looking at it, to be honest with you. But uh, this is Farming Simulator uh, 22, guys. As you can see, I just started off an AI to kind of drive down the field. The second tractor, unfortunately, does not want it, so I will drive that personally myself. Get things set up because I got a plow. We got to put a, a farmhouse in location, and then we got to mow a lawn. So this video is about, oh, I'd say just under 12 minutes. So sit back, enjoy. And watch how we farm in Simulator 22. Uh, currently, right now, I'm just following my AI. We're going to get down to the field and we'll uh, start plowing. And once we do that, things will start falling into place. All right, we just arrived on the farm with the AI. As you can see, I'm pulling up right behind them. We're going to park these right here on the, the fields. Now, I didn't film uh, the two fields that we were doing. I was doing this online yesterday with another friend of mine. No, not really, just a kid I met. And uh, we've already got all the, uh, the yield from it. So now we're just plowing it. The, the left and the right field, as you can see, that I'm pulling in. I have two fields. I got my uh, plower working on this field. So we'll just park tractors on this side, so we're not in his way, hopefully not. And we'll unload some tractors, get the uh, the cedar off there. We're, we've got, we're gonna have a few loads actually coming in. I definitely liked it, I mean, when the AIs do work, because they, all you gotta do is load the trailer, get them from the store, and then they'll deliver it to you, and then you can pull them off. Now, unfortunately, if you want your AIs to work, you have to do it actually realistically. And this would be the most realistically way you farm because if you try to drive it with 
Like, let's say you take your tractor and attach your cedar to it. He's not going to drive down the field by himself because he's going to think that you're going to put him on a field. So you have to separate those two tools in order to use the the driving AI from across town. Now, if you're going to use the field AI, you got to just hook up a tool and put them on a field and they're rocking on. If you just hook up a tool and put them in the middle of the city, like on the road, it won't work because, uh, again, they think that they're going to start a field. So you have to separate the tools in order for the... Uh, the driving AIs that go across town. Uh, I do, from what I've been told, that there's four different ways of doing this. I'm going to have to YouTube it. Take my advice. YouTube it yourself. Because uh, I'm still learning. That's actually the big reason why I bought this game. It's because I was all excited to mess with the AIs and have help. When I don't have friends online, this is helpful for those uh, people that like to work for themselves. <laughs> and I'm definitely one of them. So, all right, guys. As you can see, we're going to jump on the plow. We're going to get this going, get this uh, where the AI will continue and finish this field, build a house, mow some grass, and probably not on this one. I won't show that I'm down it, but hey, we'll get to it. No worries. Oh, look at that. It's the sound of the dirt just turning over. That's awesome. I actually love the real realistic sounds in here. So, all right. Now that we're going to be done with this field, let's jump on getting our house planted in. Because unfortunately, starting in the multiplayer, they didn't give me a house, so I have to put my own in. And chances are it's going to be in the same area that they uh, would have had it if I did career mode at first. But unfortunately, I did not, like I said. So. And I needed the money, so it kind of works out. So as you can see in the lower left hand corner, you'll notice that I have two screens playing. I'm getting my uh, guy set up to plow this field so I, I can uh, continue on working down there on my farm my house all set up get it located in the right area right place right there next to the road get him plowing and then we'll switch screens real quick and uh, there we go all right so now now he's plowing down there we got the house up here so this is what you call doing two things at once you can only do this on farm simulator 22 oh, it's actually a joke uh, if you guys haven't figured this out this is an editing only doing doing two videos kind of merged in one so I can kind of shorten the video down I mean totally doing two different things you can't do this simultaneously so uh, don't ask and say how are you doing this this is all editing it's called video editing all right just showing you two different things at once that's all I'm doing so I could shorten the video now now that's been said Let's get uh, this trailer loaded up right here. We're going to get down to our grass field. We're going to mow. We're going to windrow uh, wind it and uh, tenderize it. We're going to get all this stuff loaded up. We'll have the tenderizer delivered. So and there's our tenderizer right there. So let's uh, get these ramps out, get loaded up. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. And I, like I said, after you load your trailer up, if your AI is a good worker, he will deliver for you. You don't have to babysit him. He will actually take it down the field that you need. But unfortunately, I can't have the tractor take it down now because he'll take you as a job already. Now, they can drive by themselves if they don't have a tool. I have noticed that. You can't have a tool on the back. because, And for those that get this game will understand that uh, 22, the only way uh, to make them drive one location to another is they can't have a tool on the map. Unless you load it up on a tractor, trailer. You know? And that's what I'm doing with this guy. But we'll skip here so you don't have to see, because it takes me a good 15 minutes to load this damn thing up there. So we're just going to jump right to the fact that it's loaded on the trailer and rock and ready to go. There we go. Now that uh, the fold those ramps up, took two tractors later, let's get it rolling. Lock it down with our straps. And yes, they have vehicle straps. That's another damn good plus on this game. Love it. So that is... They got a few cool things on here that I'm actually excited to play with after they work the bugs out. So hell yeah. That's a big 10-4 over and out. All right, so we still have one of our active uh, field workers. He's just plowing that field like I have him. Down here on field 71, we got grass, wind rowing, and tethering. And on my next episode, because like I said, this is going to be a short little video. I didn't want to bore you too long. We're just going to do the grass, 
next episode we'll do belly. Uh, we'll make it or we'll get caught up. This is just a quick kind of run through it. So I, I only did a little bit of recording, but I didn't do any uh, any broadcasting. So unfortunately, I'm trying to just kind of skip through the video editing and trying to catch up my little farm here of what I've already done because I didn't record everything, unfortunately. But that's okay because. I definitely want to get for those that enjoy this game. I love the thunder. I love the rain sound. This is bad to mow, my friend. So now, now that we're back to mowing, we'll mow this lawn. Like I said, in our next episode, we'll uh, I'll probably tetherize it. Water render a uh, windrow, uh, windrow it. Uh, and all these damn names confused. But uh, I'll windrow it, tether it, bell it, and then hopefully. After we're done with that and got all the bells, and I can get it up on the uh, tractor trailer, hopefully they will deliver my bells for me. They said that I can create a, a job for these AIs, and they can go deliver and then come back. That I have not figured out. I only know how to get them to drive from point A to point B and stop. Sometimes not even that. They won't even move. Again, Giant or whoever owns this game. I think it's Giant, right? Whoever uh, owns this game needs to work out the bugs still, and I and I figured I won't complain yet because unfortunately it's still brand brand new. So last night I went back to farm the simulator 19 just to. So I got a, I got a 208 hour farm on that one. I, I worked too hard just to delete that game. So. <laughs> All right, let's uh, bring our wind rower up here. We're gonna bring our terrorizer, get it all set up, and I already have a tractor on its way. I set an AI, and I know that they'll make it without a tool. So eventually, the tractor will show up, and there he is. We got the terrorizer, the wind rower, and the tractor right on time. We don't mess around on the farm. We like to make sure everyone is scheduled to do what they got to do. All right. Where's my tractor? Let's get my tractor so we can get the uh, the uh, tetherizer or the wind rower. Actually, the wind rower. I'm gonna grab the wind rower first. Okay, where's my tractor? Come here, buddy. Come on. I, I set him right there, but I guess he's confused. All right, cancel him out. I'll take over this little guy, and we're gonna go for the wind rower this moment. We'll come back for the tetherizer. We're gonna do the wind rower first, and uh, like I said, next episode. You'll see me actually finishing this because I'm only going to give a little taste of the wind blower. And then uh, terrorizing, belling, and then using both of these trailers, or they'll have to come back, I'm sure. Because uh, I'll be using them for other things in the time being. Time means, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, for now, we'll just set this up, mow the rest of the grass. And that is pretty much this episode, guys. We're already about uh, just under 14 minutes, and I know this will go to close to 16 minutes. So I went a little bit over my editing. I try not to make these videos long unless I'm live streaming. If I'm live streaming, I'll go up to about an hour. But that's when people can ask questions because unfortunately they can't ask questions when it's an edited uh, video. Because I've already said what I said and uh, moving on. So that's the bummer. Can't really relate to your friends or your, your uh, video viewers, you know what I mean? So now that we're getting this started, this is pretty much where we're going to end it for... Uh, for this uh, video, the farm is similar 22. Can't beat it. This is uh, an enjoyable game. Like I said, they just got to work out some of the small bugs, especially the AIs that I really was counting on. Um, I was hoping they had third person mode. I'm sure they do, but it's probably for PC only. I'm on a PS4, so if you guys like, add me. My name is Harsling2 30. I play on the PS4. I do know that. Uh, if you have a PS5, we can cross-play. I just unfortunately won't have the graphics uh, that you will as a PS5. So somehow you'll have to make a PS4 farm. I mean, I plan on getting a PS5 quite sometime soon, but not soon enough. You know what I mean? We're looking at another year. I want to at least have the uh, PS5 out two years before I decided to purchase one. And now that it's been out a year, we got one more to go. And that was a goal of mine. So I really wanted to have that two years out. 
we already know how the PS4 was when it first came. I had a lot of bugs. So, so that was my biggest thing on the reason why I don't have a PS5. So I have one more year, about this time next year, for all the PS5. Maybe, maybe uh, sometime summer of 2022, the earliest, but I'm not going to count on it because my goal was for November 2022. And that will only still make this game a year old, still playable, because you know they ain't going to make a new one that soon. So, and we'll just have to find out, right? All right, guys. Well, we're in rower in it. Like I said, we're going to jump back to the mower, terrorizing it. And that will be on the next episode because we are pushing now 16 minutes we just hit. Boom, 16. And uh, what I am here to say, here to show, I'm here to do. I don't know. I don't know how with that. Uh, you'll just see uh, when you come back that we'll have some probably... Another episode of this, belling. Well, basically, when the farm gets fun, because the farm's never fun at first. There's really not much to do. You have to create yourself a job. You have to find things to do in order to get going. So this is all the boring stuff. Cause I just started it. Bought the game when it was brand new. It was on the 22nd, on the 25th of November. So therefore, it's only three days old. And they've only done one update to fix the AI because the AIs were actually worse off the very first day. They wouldn't even, they wouldn't even, hell, they'd go over the train track, and get stuck, get hit by the train, run into billboard signs, stuff like that. So well, they did fix the first update. But we're going to still need a little bit more because now they're just refusing to drive or refusing to work, however you want to look at it. So hopefully. Here in the next day, they'll do another update and get that fixed because I would really like to play my eyes. But until then, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and enjoy. Thanks for watching and uh, please add me. Watch the tooth 30.